everyone ammo here i'm coming back uh one thing i didn't want to do is just leave youtube or have this long leave of absence without any explanation ever so here's here's what that is i had moved moved and in my parents house where i was staying in between getting my own place and you know moving i was temporarily staying at my parents house for a couple of months you know, a month and a half two months it wasn't that long but while i was there my brother's uh, disabled, so it was, I was. It was hard for me to do like recordings, make videos with him around. Um, you know, he just didn't get like. <laughs> he didn't understand they shouldn't just barge in the room and pester me. While I'm trying to do it. Uh, I still love him though. Of course, he's my brother. Also, I got a new job, so I found a new place. Got a new job. It's an overnight job. Uh, the schedule's quite strange because overnight, so like half my days in the evening and then I work overnight and then my evenings in the morning for a few hours and it's really weird and I was having trouble adjusting and getting time to actually like do videos and stuff. And I was also having a little bit of anxiety because I had just like a career change with a new job. It was very stressful. Um I'm feeling better now. Doing A okay. And final things that we had a when I was like already like, okay I'm feeling good. Maybe I should get back into this. We had a friend who was in a bad situation and we gave her a, a room here. But of course, our apartment's only two bedrooms, so the office here is the second bedroom. That's what she got, and that's where she's been staying. And I really like let her use it and take it, and I didn't spend so much time in here. So that yeah, I don't want to try to get that restarted while we have a guest, and she's still here sometimes. Uh, while she's working on her own stuff, we live near her work, so it's like easier for her to do this. But that's like a whole other thing. And everything's everything, everything's fine. Though. Everyone's great. Everyone's safe. Everyone's happy. Um. Just trying to now. I'm going to start the channel back up. We're going to do some. We're not going to do what we had before with like two or three daily uploads. As much as I like that, I couldn't really keep the consistent quality that I was proud of. And unless something changes, I'm not going to be able. To, I just have to accept I'm not going to be able to do that. I'm not going to be able to upload that frequently with the quality that I like. So I'm going to do more infrequent videos with a little more effort behind them. Probably just like I played this game. I liked it. I recorded everything some highlights, some funny clips, whatever, and just, you know, occasionally stuff like that. And for the more frequent videos, they'll be probably exclusively roguelike runs, because those games are already a little episodic, so it's very easy just to, like, sit down, play the game. I'm, like, good at it. <laughs> I tend to be pretty good at those genre, the genre. So sit down, play it, like, just share that experience with you. And maybe later do some, like, tutorial-type videos. I know I've been playing lots of Risk of Rain 2. And I have some ideas on decent videos on that, on how to be successful, because it can be a very challenging game. And otherwise, I'll just be playing occasional highlight-type videos and uh, roguelikes, including Monster Train. Monster Train, love it. Downloaded it, played a bunch, already have some... Yeah, that's, like, next queued up. We're going to be sending lots of Monster Train. Otherwise, here's a highlight of what I've accomplished in the meantime, as far as video games are concerned. Watch, enjoy, thank you. Thanks for sticking around, I'll see you later. Of course, one of the things that I'm most proud of is that I finally finished Ascension Level 20, Slay the Spire. I got all the achievements, including this one, the hardest one. Um, this is not that run. This isn't even part of that run. That run, This run is a complete disaster. One of many that I suffered getting Ascension Level 20. The Ascension Level 20 actually didn't catch, but I do have a screenshot that I put over on the Discord for you to check out. I also beat the one artifact. Achievement, the three main achievements I needed was level 20, attention level 20, the one artifact run, and the five card deck run. So here's the one artifact run that I did with curse key and just an upgraded, uh, just the upgraded two cost one that you can upgrade forever. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. Uh, and apparitions, yeah, tons of apparitions in it. So I just played apparitions to not take damage and then spammed my attack the uh, two costs that I could upgrade forever against Donu and Dekka here who these poor these poor guys didn't stand a chance they're still the block because I built a block that's right I, built a, I was building a block while I was playing it, the apparitions so that I wasn't taking damn you know I only take one damage when you're ethereal so I wasn't taking damage I was building up my block now double my block and just have tons of blocks. So when it did wear off, because I had a um, barricade that I just played there, you can see. So when it did wear off, I did not. I, I was invincible by the time. I had so much block that couldn't kill me. 
<laughs> I could just keep playing my big attack, my one big attack, and hit them. And this actually, I oh, don't know, it wouldn't have worked. I was going to say it would have worked for a, uh, oh, a Searing Blow. Is that what it's called? Searing Blow? I have it in my little tiny preview mini off to the side while I'm working on something else so I can't actually read it. Because I'm full, doing it like a live VO for this. Um, yeah, so this wouldn't have worked for a five card deck. Because there's no way I would fit in the necessary cards with apparitions in there for that to ever work. And apparently, what what was I doing? Um, please, do I have to fast forward this section? Alright, we're going to have to fast forward this section. Okay, now we've rejoined ourselves into the future. Uh, I guess I had to go take the, the, the cat needed food, like feeding or something? I don't know what happened there, I don't remember taking that break, but... Uh, yeah, just had the extra energy off Curse Key, had the ability to build lots of block, and I I mean, it was just a matter of getting the right artifact with a couple of strong cards. One of these achievements is not, like, crazy hard. It just it just requires you to have the right setup, right? It just, there's It's a roguelike, there's, it's a card game, there are um, there are luck elements to it, so I just had to get some of those to play out. That's really how the uh, five card achievement worked as well for me. Poor Donu and Deka, they don't stand a chance. Because I have 298 block. <laughs> and I have thorns. I, I forgot. Why do I have thorns? I drank a thorns potion earlier. That must be it. Um, yeah, these poor guys, they can't get through here. And they'll never be able to get through here because I have so much block and I can double it. So they are. I'm literally an immortal god who is just destroying these faceless shapes. With a body slam for... 300 damage. Uh, did the five card deck achievement as well. Searing Blow. Again, Searing Blow. I, okay, you know what? I need to make an official on record apology for Searing Blow because when I first started playing the game, I was like, this isn't, that can't be that good, can it? Because it doesn't do that much damage. It costs two and I have to like put upgrades, a lot of upgrades into it to make it good. And I, I, I could never get it to work. And at least not on ascension levels when I was ascending. But when you're just doing Ascension level 0 and you're getting these achievements, it may, it's amazing. It's, it's so good because you have... The enemies aren't that hard. The enemies aren't as hard. There aren't as many things holding you back. So you can put those upgrades into the card, make it do a ton of damage, and then you're just you're just one-shotting everything and it doesn't even matter. So that's pretty much what I did. I just got some extra... I just got a little bit of defense with um, Shrug It Off. I also got Armaments because then Armaments combos with it to upgrade even more for even more damage. And I just... And then I just won. I had the strength power up just in case that was necessary, but it wasn't necessary. As you can tell, because I didn't need the strength. Armaments was like its own strength upgrade. Boom. All the achievements. Slay the Spire. 100% completed. The other thing I've been doing is Risk of Rain 2. Getting uh, through, a, I don't say Ascension 20, a Monsoon a Celestial Portal. You obliterate yourself with the Obelisk on Monsoon. And I just deleted those bosses as the Huntress. <laughs> it's half an hour in on Monsoon level. This is like my strongest Huntress run ever for sure. And yeah, that's how I got through as the Huntress. Of course, you have to clear the mobs as well. Because just because you killed the bosses doesn't mean the mobs are going to let you go. I had a couple of bad, <laughs> like a couple of bad experiences with runs that I beat the boss or whatever. And then some mob just got a lucky shot and... Uh, murdered me completely. It's a very. I have so many items here. I have a couple tricks. I have a couple ideas. I've been spamming it out enough that now I have a couple of strategies that are actually working out pretty well. I'm. I need a better strategy for the early game because these tactics really just seem to carry you. It's like from the midpoint on. You get to one of like three points where you can get a bunch of items and then just snowball out of control um but getting to that point reliably is what i've been struggling with so i've only been able to do this a couple times a few times huntress here also with the loader that was the first person i actually cleared ascension level 20 with was the loader because his slaps i didn't like him at first but he gets shields he gets a barrier when he auto attacks or his basic attack whatever you want to call it which turned out to be really really strong i got to how good that was oh and i also got the piercing wind achievement on that because we were just amazingly strong and had the topaz brooch which i think is a must-have common item and i've also did it with the mercenary mercenary zero one i got uh i completed this with with the hellfire tincture which i did not respect enough when i first started playing the game it actually does 
so much bonkers damage. And as a mercenary, you're already inside all your enemies. So you just pop this down, and it eats, it just eats them alive. <laughs> like, it eats all the enemies alive. You take a little bit of damage, too, but hopefully you have some sort of healing, lifesteal, topaz approach. Like, you should have some ability to generate your own, your own toughness to survive the small amount of damage it's doing to you. Uh, that's the scary thing about Hellfire Tincture, is if you aren't sustaining yourself, it does kind of hurt, but it actually doesn't do that much damage. So a little bit of sustain, you're alright. Especially with a melee character that can just be inside the enemy and crush them. Still, you gotta watch out. Bosses are all dead. Doesn't matter. The enemies do so much stupid damage that you stop moving for a second, you'll die. <laughs> so just keep fighting. You gotta keep fighting. Please don't just sit around and try to celebrate your victory too early. You will be punished for it. Of course, not every Risk of Rain 2 run went so well. There was a lot of pain on the way here. I expect there to be more, but I'll probably make some... I'm gonna make some guides for Risk of Rain 2 here in the future because I really enjoy it and I think I, it's almost the release time for it, like the official release. And I think I got some pretty good ideas on how to play the game in a de decent... decent-ish manner. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you around because it's been fun and again so much pain just trying to get these this, this decent at the game so again i just want to say thank you for sticking around and i'm going to have more videos kind of like this with a little more just a, you know it's not like a ton of effort i'm not doing like a professional production here it's just a a modicum of effort and that'll be more typical for a channel and just probably like i don't know monthly videos weekly videos something just infrequent it's not gonna be every day but I will have probably frequent videos of certain games, in particular roguelikes, because I'm doing Hell Train. Hell Train videos will be coming like right after this. So I hope you all look forward to that. And otherwise, just enjoy a quick, just a quick trip into me and just reviewing all the deaths. This is like a fraction of the deaths I suffered trying to master Risk of Rain 2.